Anyone who does sadhana intensely will notice over a period of time that your identification with the body will come down quite dramatically. Here I am in Melbourne, down with Australian hay fever. Believe me, the damn thing can really knock you down <laughs> But just keeping up my schedule, not missed any event. Just today I finished a five-hour uh, session with nearly five thousand people. Tomorrow is Shambhavi initiation, which I will do. All I missed was a golf game, but rest of it I'm keeping it up. I also want to tell you, in these thirty-eight years, I've never cancelled a single event because I was not well. Not because I've never been down with anything, it's just that fever, flu, whatever other kinds of stuff never made me stop doing what I'm doing. Same here, Australian hay fever, oh, it really digs in deep <laughs> but I'm okay. Today, there is no culture of health, just health care. Too much of health care but no culture of health. We need to understand when we get infections from the outside. It's an aggression by another organism for which you need medical help. But seventy percent of the world's ailments are manufactured within us, the chronic ailments. For this, one has to develop a culture of health. The way we sit, the way we walk, the way we breathe, the way we eat, the way we experience our life here determines how healthy we are. It's very important we develop a culture of health. When we are down with infections, we need medicine. Thanks to modern medicine, in spite of this Australian hay fever, I'm still able to perform all the activity that I need to or expected of me. But we must understand this, that we need a culture of health as more than seventy percent is chronic ailment on this planet. May you know the joy of being healthy <laughs>